Hey everyone, Zerojade here with the XBlade Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of Lost Artifacts Golden Island. I'm sure anyone who normally watches the channel knows that I try to get a bit into a game before I show it off. However, with this game or this, uh, I want to say, series of games, uh, there is almost, there is literally no difference from the gameplay from one to the other. It's literally uh, just a different skin on the same thing. Uh, this continues from like the Gnomes Garden series, which are about three, four, maybe five of them, up to the sort of... I believe there's another Lost Artifacts game, and then there was about maybe three or four other ones, I want to say, I'm not exaggerating, of uh, the exact same sort of game, where it's a sort of management sim where you're either controlling robots, gnomes, explorers, something like that, to do simple tasks as in, like, collecting resources, cutting down trees, rebuilding stuff, and uh, just progressing to the next level. So I'm just going to play a little bit to the, of this. And by the very uh, reskin, I mean that the achievements are usually always the same as uh, uh, completing a certain amount of levels of stars, clearing your first roadblock, build constructing a building, uh, using your first power up, using your second power up, or getting your second power up, getting the next power up. Uh, they're so samey that I bet you I can tell you the exact UI that's going to happen when I launch this game. I have not launched this one before now. The top is going to actually show your resources. It's going to be food, wood, stone, I bet, and then some kind of other random resource. On the left side, there's going to be a bar showing the stars, which is the timer for how many stars you'll get through that game. And then at the end of the level, when we finish it, a splash screen is going to pop up and fireworks are going to come out, or the fireworks are going to come out and then the splash screen. And then there's always some kind of loose story uh, that we're going to kind of skip because it... I've gotten to a point where it doesn't really matter. So we're going to start. Remember my prediction. Stuff at the top, stuff at the left. Bottom, it's going to be able to uh, have the stuff. And I'm going to be able to disable the uh, tutorial once we get in. Come on, game. Load up. All right. Take a look at the thing. Food at the top. Wood at the top. Uh... Iron and then some other resource left is my stars bottom is my objectives. I didn't really say that we're gonna disable the tutorial as soon as we start And like I said before you're just kind of Having them do things like as you go along you can queue up stuff. I Might sound a little exasperated about it, but it's mostly because I have played probably going on maybe 11 or 12 of these games with almost like with no difference in the sort of gameplay at all the levels are a little different but uh even the like some of the uh actual assets are reused they, these little square plants they're either uh they're always food what's inside of them is sometimes different but it's always you cutting wood at the beginning of the level and it is always you restoring a farm and collecting a certain amount of food at the beginning of the levels be it that might be how they want to tutorialize you but it's exactly the same and always the same so later on you'll get places that like our sawmills wooden or uh, that produce wood, you can upgrade them to produce wood faster, I believe. A stone places and stuff like that. You can sometimes upgrade your uh, 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 your uh, hut or beginning area to give you more uh, people to do stuff. But yeah, it's always the same. I actually think these flowers are from another game as well. That water is just a static texture. And then after that, we'll be done. And remember, fireworks and then a little splashy thing. So we should be able to pick this and that should be it. And there it is. There are the fireworks, told you. And off we go. And then you just kind of keep on rolling. Uh, usually these levels are at least set up so you can't really like mess yourself up. Let's say that since, uh, so destroying these logs requires food, they will usually give you enough food to take out the logs. Only one of them has really, uh, made it so, uh, you could actually not progress if you do stuff out of order. So you actually kind of have to think, but that was a little bit later. And I want to say maybe the first the second or third gnomes garden game and maybe they got what kind of realized that and went back and fixed it this level is essentially the same level but more
And as you can see, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Later on, you'll get power ups that speed you. Like I said before, it would speed you up, make the building go faster, stop time. Uh, in the other games, there'll always be this sort of like later on a creature that'll come in and either steal like food from here or disrupt your working. Uh, in the Gnome's Garden game, it was, a, I believe, a troll or an orc. And then you'd have to use uh, the firefighter to uh, kind of play a trumpet and make him go away. Come on. Hmm. Sorry about that. I coughed again. Did not want to make you listen to that. And fireworks. Yeah, I've been a little bit under the weather, but hey. Just feeling a little icky. And now we just do more stuff. Look at that head. Nope, we can't get that way. So that's a sawmill. So later on, this this resource here would definitely be used for uh, making a different unit. In the other games, like I said before, uh, it was either firefighter or I believe witches, maybe? I don't remember what, but they would dance and they would grow trees. Uh, because literally all those other games would literally run together because they were essentially just reskins. But whatever. Oh, there's my there's my achievement. Got it there. But we'll probably try to finish this level and then move on. Get that wood. Can I upgrade this one yet? No, I can. Oh, so if I get a, if I get a little more food, I can upgrade it, and then I'll have two dudes to help. I might sound kind of down on this game, uh, but I'm sure there are people who like these kind of games. It's only me having played a probably about, like I said, almost 15 of these. And it just kind of, kind of, it's just seeing the same thing over and over and over again. It's kind of, eh. And they come out like almost every one a month, I think. There's a, there's a lot of them. Get that. Get the food. Get that. Get that. They always have to return to the house, though, before they uh, do something. I want more food. Da -da -da -da. Get the food. Get the wood. So like I've said before, the, the stars on the left, uh, the little thing slowly goes down. One of the other ones, you could actually disable that. And I think it just gave you three stars. Again, I think it was just one of the Gnome's Garden ones. Come on. Come on. Come on. I do like that. You could like kind of queue up stuff. I always thought that the word queue was weird. I don't need the wood anymore, but that's fine. Uh, one of the other Gnome's Garden games uh, actually had a really neat level where you only could get, I believe, food. And then they had this trade house that would make food into wood. And then another one to get food into stone. And you kind of had to set up this sort of like circle of like creations, uh, creating stuff to get what you needed to progress. It was actually a pretty clever level. What are these? Are these tiny pears? I don't know. But you get the idea. We're gonna. It, it's gonna just be getting slightly harder each time you go. But uh, yeah, I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. Thank you very much for watching. That was Lost Artifacts, Golden Island, Island, whatever you want to call it. Who cares? I am Zero JD. If you have any questions, ask in the comments down below, and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you. Bye bye. <coughs>